All right, this one is a super duper time saver. So uh, it's pretty easy too. So if you hold down control, you'll have mask pin by default. Uh, you can use it with other masking options, but we'll keep it simple for now. So here's a triangle, here's a square, here's a circle, and I've got some shapes. So I'm gonna go down here to my masking menu. And in the middle here, you have a new mask region section. So just open that up. You have auto, analyze, and fill region. So what we can do is since we've made some shapes, we can just do auto region. It'll look through uh, your objects and go, oh, I notice you have some closed shapes in here. Let me go ahead and fill those for you. Or if you'd like, just hit control Z, you can analyze the region first and you'll see it went really fast and after you're done analyzing what you can do is tell it hey you know what this open circle i don't want that filled in but these two up here just hold down control and put a little mark in them and then say fill region it'll fill just those areas there now you'll see it's it's you know it kind of filled this but it's a little bit lighter and then darker here and then it kind of missed that edge there so here's what's happening. Essentially, if I take my brush and hold down control and I just kind of make a light shape here and say, okay, great, auto region. It's looking for 100% filled masked areas. And this is like, what, 30% masked maybe? So if you just keep kind of just generally masking this, eventually you'll get a ring in here somewhere that is 100%, there we go. But you can see that there's a pretty distinctive line there, right? Like it, it basically found the edge of 100% mass pixels or masked geometry uh, and then went ahead and filled that for you. So what I tend to do is uh, hold down control. So when I hold down control, it switches from standard brush to my mask pin brush, and this is important. So hold down control while you're doing this and then go in here to your brush options and say, uh, tablet pressure. Masking is actually RGB intensity. So again, holding down control, keep that held down, go in here to RGB intensity and raise this left one all the way to the top. Now when I masked, mask, it'll be 100% force. It's almost like I'm using my mouse to mask. I'm actually using my tablet here, but it's, it's a very strong mask. Um, if you want even cleaner edges, you can hold down control and then take your focal shift down to negative 100. And again, it'll give you a very strong mask border. But I'll go ahead and put this back to zero. And now you'll see that I have a much more accurate, so here's a triangle, here's a square. And now if I go fast, it'll start separating. Um, so, you know, kind of go slowish, but there you go. So now we have our shapes here. If I go in here to auto region, boom, it does a perfect job. If I undo that, say analyze first, put a little mark in the, oops, put a little mark in this one and a little mark in this one, say fill region, it'll fill those two. Um, of course, you can do this with, if you hold down control and switch this to an alpha, Let's grab alpha 09 and we'll just drag, let me change this stroke to rect. Uh, we can drag this shape out. And in fact, we can even go in here to the rect stroke and we can say, just make it square. So when you drag it out, it'll be a perfect uh, shape. And then we can hold down spacebar to move that around. So again, control drag out a rectangle uh, that has the alpha in it. And then you can hold down spacebar to move it around. And there you go. So now we have a bunch of enclosed shapes. So if I say auto region, it's going to look for those. And in fact, because we nested two shapes, it actually said, hey, you know what? Probably what you want is this mask, but then not this mask. So let's go ahead and compound this a little bit more just to see what it does. So we'll put a ring around here and then we'll put a ring on in the inside of here. And if I do uh, auto region, it'll go through and it did a perfect job. This is a closed shape. This is a closed shape. And that's essentially what I would want. If you want to dictate exactly, uh, you know, we can always switch back here to, um, we'll go back here to freehand. And in fact, instead of messing around with these, what you could do is say, switch over from mask pin to mask rectangle, and that'll switch it back. But so here's mask pin, freehand stroke. I'm gonna say, I want this filled in, I want this filled in, and I want this one filled in. Oops. First, analyze region, and then say this one, this one, and you know, the middle one. And then we'll fill region and it'll fill just those ones uh, that you want filled. Uh, incidentally, when you're dragging, let's go ahead and show that here. Uh, when you're dragging through an object, just so you know, rectangle and then our alpha again, you can drag out and it'll go all the way through your object. Uh, you can stop it from doing that. Just hold down control shift. Let's go in here to select lasso. I'm gonna hold down control shift and then alt and get rid of the back of my object here. So now while I'm masking, I can go, okay, you're masked and then you're masked and then you're masked. Now give me, 
and auto region, boom, there you go. And then control shift tap to bring all your geometry back. Uh, you can also go in here. So we have the rectangle stroke. We have any of these alphas, you can import your own. So just go to alpha import here. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab our own logo. So that went ahead and imported. Um, if you imported it with your standard brush, all you need to do is turn the alpha off, hold down control, and then just grab that alpha there. So now when I hold down control and drag, it'll drag this logo out here. And in this case, uh, let's go ahead and hit control D just to subdivide this once, just to get a little bit more resolution out of the geometry there. So there's my shirt logo. What I can do on this one is control tap to invert this. And let's say I want to be a little more strategic with uh, some of these areas. I'm going to hold down control. We'll switch alpha off and then this stroke back to freehand. I'm going to hold down control and we're going to say, um, well, first we'll say analyze region. And then we're going to hold down control and say, you know what, I want this one filled in and this one filled in, fill region. Okay, you know what, this one filled in, this one filled in, fill region, and why not? This one and this one as well, fill region. There you go. So now I've got my updated mask. And, you know, if you went through your object, you can actually go in here to say mask lasso and you can just mask the back of the shirt off as well. So that'll do that for you. But yeah, that's the basics of auto region, analyze region, fill region. I think it'll save you a lot of time, a lot less, you know, mask filling any time. Uh, so yeah, definitely check that one out.